The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world, and that which contains all things understands what is said. Alleluia. This Mass is offered for all the people in our collaborative, living and deceased. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Happy Pentecost Sunday. We come finally to the end of the Easter season and the birthday of the church. Dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, our need for God's healing, knowing that he pours out his spirit for the forgiveness of sins. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded And in amazement, they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya and Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, 
Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. And the sequence, I will read if it is in your books. Please feel free to just read right along with me. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor. Come, source of all our store. Come, within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and in our inmost being fill. Were where you are not, we have not. Nothing good in deed or thought. Nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray on the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, 
Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. The event of Pentecost, the first coming of the Holy Spirit on the apostles, on Mary, and whoever else was gathered in that upper room, reverses a number of unfortunate incidents that happened in the book of Genesis. So we have the uh, fulfillment, the, the culmination of many works of God that undo the failures of human beings. We have Mary, full of grace, who says yes to God, undoing Eve's disobedience. We have Jesus completing, fulfilling, perfecting all the sacrifices of old, offering his very self on the cross and becoming the new Adam from whom the church comes forth. And now, the sending of the Holy Spirit, which makes us truly like Christ, sanctified and children of God, having God within us and being molded into his image. And it is the beginning of the proclamation of the gospel to all nations. The fact that the Spirit comes down in tongues of fire rests upon all of the disciples and then they're able to speak in many languages all at once, reverses the incident of the Tower of Babel, where human beings in their pride decided to all come together and erect this great tower as a symbol, as a representation of their power, their works. But now it is God's work that completes everything. And that is who is exalted. It is God, not human beings. But God wishes to not leave human beings aside, but rather in glorifying himself, he lifts us up to glory also. By filling us with his spirit, God's own life becomes at work in us. And while God must receive the credit, the praise, and the glory. We share in it as his willing instruments, as his servants, but more than that, his children. The gifts and the fruits of the Spirit are many in number. The church traditionally lists seven gifts that the Spirit gives, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, piety, fear of the Lord. And there's a, a list of at least 12 fruits of the Spirit. I don't have those memorized, sorry. <laughs> but I can tell you some of them are goodness, kindness, gentleness, patience, uh, and chastity, things like that. And if we think about it, the, the Spirit bears such good works as they really stand apart and are easily identified, recognized, in contrast with the fruits of the world, which is subject to misunderstanding, subject to ignorance, subject to fear, all those things that go against the gifts of the Spirit. So we see the Spirit producing in us, goodness, kindness, gentleness, generosity. Not anger, not war, not uh, any kind of 
long-lasting grudge, anything like that, but rather making peace between us and God, making peace among all peoples, promoting understanding and listening, and spreading hope, trust, faith, restoring us as the children of God and helping us to, to live lives of virtue, not lives of selfishness and sin. The Lord brings newness of life where it's most needed. And it is in our greatest needs that we're especially aware of his presence and activity because he's always working to undo the evil that enters into our hearts, the evil that enters into our world. But we, if just one person is open to it, it becomes a light and we are able to make a difference. But of course, where there are many, the gifts and fruits of the Spirit are multiplied all the more because we don't receive them in equal measure. We receive them in complementary ways so that the whole body of Christ must take shape and must become active in the world. Proclaiming the gospel is just one work of the Spirit. Another work of the Spirit is uniting people, healing divisions, teaching, guiding, healing, strengthening. And we can find the Spirit at work in so many small ways, not just the big ways that are easily noticed. The Holy Spirit goes by many names. We have among those we read in the Gospels, the Consoler, the Sanctifier, the Paraclete, which is a legal advocate, the Teacher. These names are very personal, not just because they pertain to a person who is God, but because they involve us. They all have something to do with how God relates to us. The Spirit responds to our ongoing need for consolation and hope, imparting the goodness that we can't attain ourselves, supporting us when we're in trouble, or feeling weighed down, or having trouble praying. St. Paul says in one of his letters, the Spirit helps us to pray, sometimes in words that are inexpressible. It is simply a groaning that emerges from us but it is the Spirit moving us toward union with God, lifting us up out of the dirt and toward the light. The Spirit is someone we can always count on, and he inspires the words that we need to hear, the lessons we need to learn, the good works that build us up, the acceptance of one thing, the letting go of another. The Holy Spirit directs so many good works from start to finish, and he ensures that everything happens in its proper time. It's true, even though the works of the Spirit are so identifiable, so profoundly good, that he, despite that, we can't always be sure exactly what God is doing. And amidst all of the conflicting emotions and feelings and wishes that we have, we don't always know where God's leading us, exactly how God is speaking to us. But in these times, we rely more on faith than on sight. We rely on trust and hope more than absolute certainty. And remember, these are fruits of the Holy Spirit. So God can help us to trust in him and to simply let him do the works and trust that it doesn't depend on us. That's a lesson that we should have learned from the times of Genesis, but we can't. But rather God can teach it and he can help us to live it. And when we're relying on God rather than our own abilities, that's a sure way to be close to God and to let him provide. And this surely is the will of God and he will always show his goodness 
in his people who say, come Holy Spirit, make all things new. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident that we are always in the presence of the all-embracing Spirit, we raise up to God our prayers and petitions. For the Church, the people of God, that we may faithfully acknowledge Jesus as Lord and be guided by the Holy Spirit to continue the mission of Christ in our time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of faith that through baptism, confirmation, regular reconciliation, and frequent reception of the Eucharist, we may receive all the graces necessary to be your faithful disciple and courageous witness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of giving that we may be generous in the second collection also, which supports the seminarians of the archdiocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of healing, that God will touch all who are ill, strengthen their minds, bodies, and spirits, and make them well, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For spirit of justice, give us the desire to rid ourselves of the harm that bias and prejudice can cause, and the courage to join our voices in speaking out against all evils, that we may at least every day make one effort to treat somebody who we may not wish to, but treat somebody with kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of wisdom in governments and business, that they may develop policies that protect and promote the well-being of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of life that God will be merciful, granting eternal life to all who have re recently passed to the Lord, especially for Adele Rena Mariani, whose funeral was celebrated Friday, and especially at Mass this morning for the deceased members of all our collaborative we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions carried in our hearts and those written in the parish books. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, send your spirit again into our world, into our lives, into our hearts. Hear our prayers and save us in your love. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us ask the intercession of Mary, uh, especially in this month of May, as we honor her. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So at the start of Mass, I didn't see any ushers, and I'm so glad the Spirit has raised up ushers for us today. Thank you so much for volunteering and for all your service. And please, I ask all of you, consider volunteering for one of our ministries at Mass. Just be trained in it. You don't have to sign up and make a regular commitment. Just be available sometimes. That would be a real help. So today we have two collections. The first one supports our parish, and the second supports the formation of seminarians of the Archdiocese of Boston. We have three seminaries in our Archdiocese, and they are producing new priests for us every year. We just ordained five. Next year we'll ordain more than 10, God willing. So thank you so much for your generous support. A reminder that the offices will be closed tomorrow, Memorial Day. As usual, Mass will be offered here at 9 a.m., but please be mindful that the annual Norfolk Memorial Day Parade and services are taking place along Main Street before Mass. So as I recall, all of that finishes up before Mass starts, but please just be mindful. You may have to ask a traffic officer to let you through or something like that, but you can get here. It'll be all right. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke of the marvels of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please at least come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. So glad to begin this day celebrating Mass with all of you. Thank you for your participation both here in the church and joining us through Norfolk Community TV, Facebook Live, and uh, we might have Medfield TV also. And anyone joining us in the parking lot on 90.7 FM. A reminder for all who are not with us here in the church but wish to or have been participating remotely and wish to come for communion, you may do so from 8.45 to 9.15 this morning. And for at least a couple more weeks, we will also offer uh, Holy Communion in the parking lot after Monday Mass for about 15 minutes. But I'm thinking about uh, suspending that uh, as we get to July. Um, so just please be prepared for some change, but we will do our best to accommodate you. As always, if anybody needs sacraments brought to them at home, simply call the church, and we'll be glad to arrange that for you. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a great Sunday. Would anybody like to um, turn to page, to song number 456, and we can just sing one verse for Come Holy Ghost? Come Holy Ghost, create.